before we talk about the Ravens dipping into this savings account, um, I, I gotta say thank y'all because I just came to the realization like this morning, and maybe because this week makes it official. Um, but I want to say thank you all for helping us get through slow season um, because we made it. Like it's over. Like it's officially over. Like this is the week that training camp begins, and we know training camp is that real deal. It's not mini camp. It's not OTAs. It's not voluntary. No, 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 no. It's training camp. So this is when the pads come on. This is when they really implementing a lot of stuff with the play. So we are officially here. So thank you all because a lot of times when with slow season, well, really every time with slow season, um, it can feel like, man, we got to wait so long for football again. It's going to take forever. And then last year for the Ravens, it took a little extra long because they didn't make it to the playoffs. But even, even with that, Playoffs came in with Super Bowls in February. Then it's like, okay, free agency's in March, and that's when it's all hype and whatnot. The drafts in April, that's when it's like all hype and whatnot. Then after April, it's like, ooh. It's like, oh. And that's, that's when they can be very, very slow. But I, I'll say it now, and I'll say it again. This offseason was not slow at all, at least for me. It went by too fast. I actually wish it would slow down a bit. But anyway... Somebody who whose money, they felt like their money slowed down a bit. And I remember before, like about a week ago, I told y'all this was that same five dollar bill where I was ready to play big bank, take little bank with the Ravens. Now I'm eliminated. Now, now I'm eliminated because the Ravens they had to dip into that savings account to pull out some bread because they were like, hey, we got like a less than a million dollars in cap space, even though you know. The cap is cap. But we got less than a million dollars in cap space. What do we do? Are we stuck? We haven't even signed all of our draft picks yet. We just got David Ajabo left. But what are we going to do? Well, we can't be walking around here with, with, with empty pockets. We can't be walking around like engraving with empty pockets. So what, what are we going to do? So they say, you know what? And, and, and this was an Marlon Humphrey was an obvious candidate. Some of the most obvious candidates, and we talked about this in a previous video when we talked about their, their money situation, Marlon Humphrey, Ronnie Stanley, Mark Andrews, as far as restructures, because those are guys that already signed big deals. So they could do some little conversions here and there to open up some money with those guys. Now, of course, one of the other, other obvious ones is Mr. Lamar. I don't know what his middle name is. Jackson. And they could open up a lot of money if they came to a contract extension with one Lamar. I don't know what his middle name is, Jackson. But we know the story with that. Like, yeah, it, it sounds easy. It sounds super easy, but it, it's not super easy. But anyway, and again, no, he should not take less. Said, I, I, I got to say that every chance that I get because I still see people talking about Lamar Jackson should take less money. No, 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 no. You wouldn't take less money at your job. Don't ask somebody else to take less money at theirs. Simple as that. That's the easiest way to put it. But anyway, some another candidate is Marcus Peters. Um, but anyway, that one of the candidates who we all talked about before, who was an obvious candidate, they did some restructuring. Let's read the report. It said, came from Field Yates, by the way. The Ravens have converted $8.965 million of star cornerback Marlon Humphrey's $10 million base salary into a signing bonus. And they created 7.172 mil in salary cap space. Ooh, them, them numbers get so detailed. They get so detailed. All the, the point one three two five six seven eight nine ten all, all that stuff. It, it gets so detailed. It's like, ugh. Um, so they created a little over seven million cap space. They had, I think, like six hundred thousand in caps, something like that. So right now they should have about uh, eight mil, a little, maybe a little less than eight mil in cap space. Um, so yeah, that's that. I, I've been seeing. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people like on Twitter and stuff wondering who, who, who's it gonna be? Who, the, who are they gonna bring in? Who the Ravens are gonna sign? And I think they'll end up signing somebody, but it it's not necessarily something that's imminent. Like, all right, they they opened up this cap space just to sign somebody, just because of the timing. Um, I I think more so with the timing, this is a uh, stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready 
type of thing. Um, and I just, I just think they want to be ready just in case. Because training camp, it gets physical. Training, hopefully not this training camp. Hopefully not this year. But stuff happens. Training camp injuries can happen, unfortunately. Um, so, because this is where it gets physical. This is where the tackling starts opening up. This is where, again, the pads come on. So, it's real now. It's real now. So, with that, um, guys can go down. Guys can go down. Um, and hopefully that doesn't happen to anybody, not just on the Ravens, but just in the NFL. But, you know, like, that's a big hope. And that's just something that's it's, it's, it's just bound to happen. Some way, somehow to somebody. Um, so you got to be ready to bring somebody else in just in case. Now, uh, I would also expect to start seeing reports about the Ravens bringing in different guys for tryouts. And this is something that they do a lot. They do it in off season. They do it in preseason. They do it during the regular season. They do that type of stuff. They bring in guys for tryouts a lot. Sometimes they'll decide, hey, you know what, let's sign this guy. And a lot of times they'll decide, nope, it was just for a tryout. We just either wanted to see what kind of shape he was in just in case, or we wanted to help put his name back out there and get his name back out on the map. Ravens do that a lot of times. Ravens are a team. Of course, other teams do it too, but you know Ravens, like it's especially since we talk about Ravens every day. Um, Ravens are definitely a team that's uh, put your boy on type of team. Obviously, with John Harbaugh, a lot of the highest that he makes, he puts his boys on. Um, they, uh, with, um, remember like with Crockett Gilmore? Remember a couple years ago? A couple years ago, Ravens had worked out Crockett Gilmore, and a lot of us were like, what? We, we heard that he got a lot of weight to move up to offensive linemen. Da -da -da -da. We already got tight ends. Da -da -da -da. We was all looking at each other crazy. Like, what? What's going on? But it was just so they could try to put his name out there a little bit. And they've, they've done that with, with several people over the years, man. So it's nothing new. But that was just the, the, the most recent example I could remember. But they've definitely done it afterwards, too. Um, so, yeah, man. We'll see. Uh, I, I've, all, I've been seeing a lot of people talk about Julio. Could this be uh, them opening up some money for Julio Jones now? And wherever Julio goes. Like, imagine, imagine if it's like two, three years ago. And... You talking to somebody and you like, man, Julio Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's going to be a Hall of Famer whenever he decides to hang it up, blah, 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 blah. He done broke all these receiver records. He's a monster in Atlanta. Two, three years ago. So, obviously, before Tennessee. Obviously, before now. Two, three years ago. If you told them, hey, in a couple of years, Julio not even going to be on a team. Julio Jones is not even going to be on a team. If you told somebody that. They probably look at you like you were crazy. Like, who, Julio Jones? Hey, yeah, he might be slowing down a little. But Julio Jones not going to be on no team. Come on now. And boom. I did see my guy Chris just joking. He, uh, he, when he saw the, uh, the report about the Ravens converting Marlon Humphrey's money and opening up some cap space, uh, he put up a video of AB at Rolling Loud. He said, hey, it's time, man. It's time. And uh, so that, that, I, I, I appreciated that one. And, of course, we know a a Antonio Brown is done in the NFL. Uh, he hasn't officially retired, but I think, like, the NFL, they, they are done with him. Um, I don't think they're going to give him another shot uh, at all. Anything possible, but I just I don't think they're going to give him another shot. I don't think anybody thinks they're going to give him another shot. Um, so, yeah, man. So, that's that. Anyway, uh, I love you all. Again, thank you. Thank you for helping us get through the slow season. Um, even though it's, it, there was really no slow season this off season because it was literally something all the time. Uh, so this week is training camp week. Again, shout out to anybody that's going to be going. I think the first uh, training camp for fans that they can attend is on Wednesday. So shout out to anybody that's going to that. Anybody that's going on Thursday or Friday, really whenever. Then the open practice is on is this Saturday. So shout out to anybody that's going to be attending those things. Uh, they should be. A lot of fun, uh, and it's, it's an exciting time, man. It's an exciting time uh, to be a Ravens fan. This is such a, uh, a pivotal season for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, and, it, and it's just exciting wondering and, and, and getting ready to actually see stuff 
put in motion. Now we can finally, we've had all the, the, the speculation conversations about this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. And now all the speculation that we've had about so many different players at so many different positions, now it's time to see if a lot of that stuff comes to fruition because now the competition really begins.